Hey, what is up everyone? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. And in case if you haven't noticed, it's my first time posting again in about a fucking year. <laughs> But I had to post because something absolutely crazy happened and no I'm not talking about the coronavirus. One of my old managers got exposed for being a pedophile. <laughs> now this is not a joke. He was exposed on this YouTube channel with over 27,000 subscribers and their channel is called Predator Poachers. I'll leave their link down below. So without further ado, sit back, relax, grab some popcorn and some toilet paper and get ready to see this pedo absolutely destroyed. Look at the camera. Come on, it's a guy flashing you. Why don't you like that? Oh, it's some it's cuz I'm of age and I'm flashing you. All right. All right, so as you could see, this is their intro, and the guy trying to cover himself was my manager, also known as the pedo who gets badly exposed in this video for literally trying to hook up with a 13-year-old boy. Now, I have a brother who's 13 years old and just thinking about that is so fucked up. I mean, all the kid does all day is play Fortnite and on the odd occasion plays with his hamster. So I doubt he's even remotely thinking about something this fucking gross. So the guy standing up was the guy that got set up and he essentially thinks that the guy sitting down is a 13 year old boy. Now I don't know how he fell for this because the guy sitting down looks absolutely massive. But nonetheless they set it up so that he thinks he's literally about to hook up with a 13 year old boy. So let's see what's gonna happen. So are you like curious or are you? Uh like I don't know yet right? Um I'm kind of figuring myself out, I'm not too sure. So right off the bat, this old guy thinks, he's like, you know what, I might as well fully go for it, I might as well just YOLO it. I mean, I'm already at a 13 year old boy's house, this is already illegal as shit, so why not just go all fucking out? But the sad thing is, this isn't the worst part of the video, so brace yourselves because after you may need a bottle of acid to cure your eyes. Because what this guy's about to do literally threw me off my chair the first time I saw it. And it honestly gave me worse nightmares than when I saw Jake Paul post this. I'm still deciding. Like, I haven't really... I'm scared of this, right? For sure. I'm still deciding, I just don't... I just don't know really yet. Is there anything on your mind that you want to try first? Uh, what did you want to do? I mean, you seem to be more... I'm, more pretty, this. I'm pretty open. You're pretty new to all this. I mean, just look at the smile on this guy's face. He knows he's about to get some underage shrimp. And I mean, I may not know much about this sort of thing, but when anyone, especially this guy, takes off his glasses, you know something's about to go down. Something that has the potential to ruin someone's life forever. Uh, what were you thinking? <laughs> look at how uncomfortable this guy gets when he realizes that this guy is literally trying to go down on him. I mean, at this point, he's probably regretting this job, and he's probably like, you know what, I should have never accepted any amount of cash to be involved with such a gross thing. Uh, I don't know about that yet. Let's not touch me there either yet. You don't mind. Hey, bro. What? Oh my god! Uh, what do you drive? I drive a little white van, SUV. Oh, nice. You drive a minivan? I used to actually, and then I crashed it, so that doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> leave, in the, leave in the comments down below how you think this guy crashed it. Now, usually this sort of thing would not be funny under no circumstances, right? But you could see the predator himself begins to laugh, so I feel like I have a pass on this one. Who knows, was it on the way to another victim's house, or was it on the way to his work? And it was at this point in time where they decided, you know, enough's enough, and so all of them basically confront the predator. Go on, remain seated for us, please. So, how old is the guy you were coming to meet tonight? He was 13. Right. <clears throat> and what were you going to do with him? Knowing that we do have all the messages. No, no, I do understand. I wasn't going to go any further that he didn't want to go. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. I mean, you don't have to be Albert Einstein to agree that he's in the wrong here. 
But it's just funny to me how he's agreeing with it as if he's like some sort of intellectual or something. And if you go back and watch the original video, one disturbing thing throughout the whole video is that he's constantly playing with his hair. So I don't know, leave down below guys, would you personally go with his haircuts? Because a lot of people on the original video were saying he does indeed have nice hair. So I want to know what you guys think. But that's not all you want. No, I agree. I came here for sexual pleasure, but came here for sexual pleasure, but came here for sexual pleasure, but... Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. There's a reason why there's an Asian consent. What is the Asian consent in uh, Mississauga, Ontario? Is it not 16 with olders, and then if you are within five years, you can agree upon it? You're on 18. I'm 20. Right, right, and he's 13. Agreed. That's why I'm, I am in the fault here. I understand I was in the wrong, and I should not have talked to him in the first place, but nothing happened. It was just talking. What if he Because we stopped you! What if he said yes? Were you going to do anything? No. If he said yes, you said the only reason you backed off is because he said no. So what if he said yes? I came here for sexual pleasure, but he wanted to talk and I was okay with that. I did not even- Breath. Breath. Think of Grindr like a big Chinese buffet. The orange chicken is like the BBC's, okay? And the, uh, the Szechuan chicken is like the Latinos. And then that crappy pizza that nobody eats is the 13 year old! You went for the pizza! Well guys, there you have it. If there's one thing we could take from this video, it's that if you go to a Chinese buffet, as this guy says, do not choose the pizza. And uh, essentially to conclude this video, he calls the cops, claiming that they were harassing him, which is pretty ironic because he's basically imprisoning himself. But anyways guys, if you enjoyed today's video, please leave a like down below and subscribe because I love you guys. And if you do not leave a like down below, rumor has it you might get COVID-19.